guys, it's Adam and welcome back to another sales update. I've got another 10 sales. I was going to do the action for five then, but yeah, 10 sales today, although... Oh, for God's sake, that hand. Anyway, uh, 10 sales today to share with you, and uh, we may as well get straight into this. So I've got my phone here. I've got the first item up. I'm so prepared. It's, it's incredible, isn't it? Um, so first item here is this vintage small studio pottery clay slash terracotta. I wasn't actually sure on this one. Uh, water jug ewer collectible, and this went for $29.99 plus postage, so I was really, really happy with that one. A nice little studio pottery clay jug there. Um, obviously, it's going to be more of a decorative piece than actually to be used because some pieces that I sell that are the water jugs and things like that people can genuinely use them and will use them but this is one of the ones that's more of a decorative piece rather than to be used but yeah 29 and that, 9 for that I paid £3 in a charity shop ages and ages ago I didn't list it for actually uh, quite a long time and then I decided to list it and, and whacked it on the photo area and, and snapped a few photos and stuff and so yeah now it's gone for 29 so that was cool next Scrabble original classic board uh, board game tile game new and sealed this one i think i paid a five yeah this was a fiver in cancer research actually and i had it in my lockup for quite a while and i was gonna sell it one christmas no i was gonna sell it possibly this christmas actually so we're in march now i was gonna sell it this christmas but then obviously the whole university thing came along and i thought do i really want to wait for christmas when really i should be getting money in now and i thought well not really i should probably just get the money in now so i just whacked it on auction and it went up to 21 quid so five quid there into 21 quid pretty happy with that and it's a bit of money in the bank at the end of the day so yeah that's that one there next we've got this the worcester conservative associate the worcester conservative Association Royal Worcester Limited Edition plate. 14 99 plus post on this one. Probably in profit on the job lot this came in because most of these plates I bought for £10, £15, £20 plus commission in obviously a wider box job lot or a couple of box job lots um, from the auction house. So in terms of individual costs, it doesn't owe me hardly anything and most probably I've, I've paid for the job lot. So yeah, 14 99 on that one plus postage. A uh, nice little plate there and these are the kind of things that they may take a little while to go or some of them do but they're just nice little things that when they go you know it's a nice little sale. So yeah that's that one. Next something else, something that I really really liked actually. I think this was 2 99 in a charity shop, in the Headway charity shop. Vintage hand painted studio pottery fish style plate. 14 99 plus post there. Didn't take too long to go. When I say too long it probably took three months something like that and for studio pottery that's not too bad you can be you know if you sell studio pottery you'll be aware that some items can go you know after six months or 12 months but then other items can go pretty quick I mean there's some items I've had that can go within a week and stuff but generally you know three months is around right about two or three months is around, around about right for items like this but yeah 14 99 plus post on that um, yeah really really happy with that so lovely item I just thought it was pretty funky and cool and I'd never really seen one of these dishes as an actual fish like that um so i thought it was just yeah pretty cool really awesome sale on this one diablo 3 lord of terror blizzard necker 12 inch collectible figure 129.99 plus postage there yeah i paid six quid for this in a charity shop i looked at it and it said six quid on it and i immediately thought it was money i didn't think it was potentially that much i was thinking maybe it would be between 30 and 50 quid that's just me being honest because i could lie i could say oh yeah well, i knew it was going to be worth 130 quid and that's why i picked it up i knew it was worth some money but i didn't know it was worth that much but yeah so i was thinking maybe it was 30 to 50 quid something like that and and I thought, for, for six quid, it's still worth picking up. So, um, yeah, I picked it up. And then I got it home and researched it. Realised there was none available in the UK. And there was one sold, I don't know, US or somewhere like that abroad. Anyway, international for around 100 quid or something like that. 108 quid is coming to mind. But I don't know. It might have been a slightly different. Yeah, so 129.99 for that one. So that was really cool from six quid. Next, we've got something else. Studio Pottery. Vintage Studio Pottery. Patchy coloured blue. Brown glazed bowl home decor there uh 20 quid 19.99 plus post again got it from a charity shop i believe it was two pound but it, it might have been three quid it was two or three quid a lot of these items i set myself a kind of a limit of three quid on you know these studio pottery bowls things like that. unless it's something that really catches my eye then i'll pay maybe a five or a six quid for but a lot of these standard ones i kind of set myself a limit and say if it's three quid two or three quid or even less than that i'll pick it up but i'm not really 
you're going over three quid. So it was either two or three quid this. 90.99 plus post. Can't really complain at that one. Nice little margin from two or three quid into 20 quid. Again, you know, it took a few months to sell, but I'm not too bothered with this studio pottery stuff. I'm very well aware that it's not going to go overnight or anything like that. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this vintage metal rectangular drinks party serving tray with engraved, engraved design. Now, I think, I don't think this was silver plate. Or, well, I don't know whether it was silver plate, but what I'm saying is there wasn't a mark on the back that told me it was silver plate so that's why I wouldn't have put it in the title and that's why I probably chose to price it a little bit lower. If it was silver plate I might price it 20 quid, 25 quid. If it was silver plate and it had a good name to it you know it might be way more than that. But yeah since I didn't know whether it was or not um, I've literally just put uh, 14.99 plus post on there and just left it at that. Again this will come in a silver, uh, well maybe a silver plate job lot or just a wider metalware job lot really and yeah. Uh, I doubt it will have cost me a lot in terms of an individual cost from that job lot. Maybe two or three quid, three quid being the maximum. So yeah, it's probably way less than that though, but I always overestimate on these uh, sales updates as I've said. So yeah, that's that one there. Next we've got this vintage Alnwick Castle in Northumberland, framed engraving wall decor, 11.99 plus post. Now the only reason this was on a little bit cheaper was because on the back, unfortunately, it was taped up with cardboard. So there wasn't a what do they normal, normally have on the back they normally, a lot of paintings normally have a board on the back don't they they normally have some sort of I suppose is it chip board or chalk board or something like that anyway it has some sort of board on the back to keep it in but this one just had a, a really poor, poorly taped together piece of cardboard on the back and so I didn't really think it warranted obviously putting it on for maybe 20 quid or something like that so I charged 11.99 plus post on that now I'm in profit on these uh, prints, engravings, job lot that I bought. Bought a job lot of engravings. Think it was for 15 quid plus commission, something like that, 10 or 15 pound plus commission. And I got quite a few engravings. I got about 11 or 12 engravings, something like that. And a lot of them have now gone for 30 quid, 20 quid. And obviously they made me in profit on the job lot. So that is pure profit after posting fees. Next, we've got this Rayware Ceramic Blue Glazed and Terracotta um, Pizza Dish Tray. These are always worth picking up. I believe I paid two or, f again, two or three quid. I can't remember, but I remember the charity shop I got it from. It was the Care. UK big one but yeah two or three quid on that but they're always worth picking up if you can get them for a quid brilliant if you can get them for two quid fair enough if you can get them for three quid probably just about worth going on because sometimes these can actually sell fairly quickly as well within a week or two depending on you know what they are and whether you've got your keywords right and stuff but yeah i could solve this for 9.95 plus postage um and it is just a pizza dish tray but people do like these. They also like the ones, uh, especially they like the ones with the, um, oh, what do you call it, the recipes on them as well. Um, you can have ones, you can have the pizza ones with recipes on, but you can also have chicken broth recipes on, uh, little bowls and stuff like this, uh, not just the pizza dishes. And they always seem to go for £10 plus post, 12 99 plus post, maybe in some circumstances a little bit more than that, but it's generally quite bread and butter stuff. But yeah, so I've got that three, two or three quid and uh, uh, 10 quid plus post there on that one. Next, Trek the Third DreamWorks uh, PMS. Why have I put PMS on there? Don't I honestly do not know what PMS stands for, except another PMS that we won't talk about. I think it's P post menstrual dress or something. Oh no, that's PMT I'm thinking of, isn't it? Anyway, doesn't matter. So, um, new tagged plush soft toy, 12 99 plus postage there. Um, I got this for two quid in a charity shop, brand new in tagged, as, as you can see, and 12 99 plus post, and it didn't take forever to go that. that that was all right that went fairly quickly so can't really complain with that one 12.99 plus postage so that's pretty cool oh and that's everything so that is everything for this sales update so thank you very much for joining me guys thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy it then please do feel free to whack that like button down below if you haven't already then please do feel free as well to so, so, yeah, to subscribe to the channel I knew I was going to mess that up you know when you know in your brain you think oh god I'm going to mess this next bit up and then you mess it up oh it's so terrible but yeah so subscribe if you haven't already drop any comments questions or queries down below that you may have and also I will see you in the next one so I will see you very soon guys